the start of a new year, a new month, a new day. Last year on the 1st, it was the same day, same month, now just a different year. 2017 is the Buddhist era 2560, meaning that it has been 2560 years after the Buddha passed away into Parinibbana. This is for us to reflect on the Buddha and his passing into Parinibbana. He taught us to make offerings to him through our own Dhamma practice we call Padipada Puja. Today you start the new year with offerings of your Dhamma practice. You come and offer alms to the monks, practice acts of generosity, determined to keep the five moral precepts. You make your vows that you take the Buddha, the Dhamma and the Sangha as your true refuge once, twice, then three times. When you make vows like this, a radiance arises in your hearts because you take refuge in the radiant jewel of the Buddha, the jewel of the Dhamma and the jewel of the Sangha. It is the highest and greatest type of jewel possible. In all the three world systems, there is no jewel equal to the triple gem. When your minds recollect and revere this excellent refuge, it makes the mind excellent as well. Your minds are full of goodness. All the types of jewels, rings, gold can't be of equal value to the jewel of the Buddha, the Dhamma and the Sangha. We could say that Thailand is the richest in the world because the Buddhists in Thailand have the highest jewel, the Buddha, Dhamma, Sangha. However rich one is, that is just an outer wealth, but they can't use how much ever money they have to make faith arise in their hearts and especially the unshakable faith like you have can't arise because of wealth but it comes from the heart that has built goodness and the spiritual connection with the Buddha, Dhamma, Sangha. It doesn't arise easily at all. Although the Buddha has entered Parinibbana 2560 years already, we don't know, we may have been born in the Buddha's time but whatever it is, we have come to the present and we all pay homage to the Buddha, the Dhamma and Sangha as our refuge. Or you can do this by using the meditation mantra Bhutang Saranang Kachami, Tamang Saranang Kachami, Sankang Saranang Kachami. I take refuge in the Buddha, the Dhamma, the Sangha. This is a method to make the mind peaceful, an easy way, and we call this Buddha Nusati, Dhamma Nusati and Sangha Nusati, recollection of the virtues of the Buddha Dhamma Sangha. You start the new year by searching for goodness. You donate and give up some of your wealth to make a chedi as homage to the Buddha. The faith you have, the morality that is strong, the determination to come from far away to chant throughout the new year. All these good things come back to us in our hearts. You come and chant verses of praise to the Buddha, Dhamma, Sangha. This happens all over the country and even with Thais and Buddhists all around the world. They do something similar. This is the building of loving kindness. Though Thailand isn't a big country, the power of goodness, the power of loving kindness, the power of the Buddha, the Dhamma, the Sangha looks after and protects the safety of the country from different dangers. The people live at ease under the spiritual goodness of the late King Rama the Ninth of the Chakri dynasty and now King Rama the Tenth uh, who has faith in the Buddha and supports Buddhism so the monks can live at ease. They have the opportunity to practice the Dhamma and to attain to Dhamma. 
after seeing the benefits of the Dhamma, they teach us to practice the teachings of the Buddha. The Buddha has already passed away long ago, but his Dhamma is still here. If you follow his teachings, then you will attain to the same awakening. When you take the Buddha, the Dhamma, the Sangha as your refuge and follow the practice of the Dhamma, the end result will be that your hearts will see the Dhamma, understand the Dhamma. Your hearts will become the awakened Buddha. There will be radiance that arises in the heart. This radiance that arises, even all the wealth and riches of the world can't make them arise. The faith that arises is so much greater than all the wealth of the world. It doesn't arise easily at all. This sada faith and pasada confidence in the Buddha, the Dhamma, the Sangha that you practice and follow his teachings, you do through your act of chanting the virtues of the Buddha, the Dhamma, the Sangha. Today is the start of your building of goodness for this year. Your offerings of generosity, keeping morality, your offerings of forest cloth today. These are your actions to show your sacrifice and kindness to support the community of monks, those who have given up finding a living in order to dedicate their lives to the practice of the cultivation of the mind. You have the kindness to sacrifice part of your wealth in support of the monks and Buddhism. This building of merit is acquired through the sacrifice of your wealth. These material offerings are important, but they are just one aspect of Buddhism. The highest aspect is your practice of Dhamma. If you only provide material offerings, then its impact on your hearts is small. May you all practice the Dhamma, sincerely find the Dhamma, then in this life you will find and taste the Dhamma. This taste of Dhamma is a taste that exceeds all other tastes. Sabha rasang dhamma raso jinati. This is the Pali. The meaning, the taste of Dhamma exceeds all other tastes. The taste of Samadhi, if you can gain it, then you will feel a happiness and joy of the highest type. And this will lead to the wisdom that knows all things as conventions. The heart will be liberated temporarily. Your faith leads to effort in the practice, which leads to the establishment of mindfulness. This leads to the stilling of the mind, then to wisdom, the understanding and insight into this heap of aggregates you call a body and mind. The aggregates that are constantly changing each day and night. The year 2017 has come and you can judge the stage of your life from this. Maybe 70, 80 years have passed already. You can imagine that you have 10 candles, each one symbolizing 10 years of your life, a hundred years in total. How old are you this year? How many candles have been used up and how many do you have left? You should calculate this. If you only have a few left, then you need to grow spiritually and practice a lot. Even if you have a lot left, you should not be heedless and you should keep practicing the Dhamma. This year from today, you should determine that if greed arises, then you will try to give it up. If anger or delusion arise, you will try to give it up. Try not to let it arise as well. Try to build the goodness in your mind and look after all the goodness that you have built. This is called right effort. When you go to the monastery or are at home or at work, you should still train in the practice of the Dhamma at the same time. Do it together with your life and the time that you have. This time that keeps passing and changing every day. May you be determined in your practice of Dhamma. 
May you have happiness and growth in the world and in the Dhamma. May you achieve the wealth of the human realm, the heavenly wealth, and the empty mind, the wealth of Nibbana. May you be able to overcome all your difficulties and obstacles. May you have good health and strength. And may you all have happiness in your families and in society.